I have a taste for pizza today, which has brought me here to the neighborhood of South Slope, Brooklyn. South Slope is of course a neighborhood right below Park Slope. I have never been here before, my first time, and so far it looks like a pretty pleasant place. Oh yeah, my desire for food is a very strong impetus that brings me to new areas, new places, all for the pursuit of great food. Today I'll be dining at an iconic neighborhood pizza institution called Luigi's. Now it's been there for decades, but it's really gotten pretty popular recently. Plus it's also known as a pretty affordable pizza restaurant, not just for having good pies, but yeah, affordability is a very nice thing, especially these days. So without any further delay, let's go to Luigi's. For nearly half a century, Luigi's has cemented itself as a Brooklyn pizza institution. It was founded in 1973 by Italian immigrant Luigi Lonzo and has remained a family business over the years. Luigi retired back in 2000, prompting his son Giovanni to take over and has remained the face of the restaurant ever since. The interior of the pizzeria seems untouched by time and has such an immense charm to it. In fact, it was even featured in the Adam Sandler movie Big Daddy. Luigi serves traditional New York style pizza. There's no big display case with crazy pizza toppings like buffalo chicken, pasta, or pineapple. It's just the classics. When I went, there were four different slices available, so I got one of each, and it only cost me $12.50. I was shocked with just how affordable it was. It would be a challenge these days to even find four mediocre slices in NYC for a similar price point. One certainly gets their money's worth at Luigi's. The culmination of my pizza journey has arrived. I'm outside here, I got four slices, and it's finally the time, the moment I've been waiting for. Let's dig in. First slice, the fresh mozzarella. Gotta start off with the standard. Yeah, it looks pretty good, a bit of flop here, but it is light. Yeah, this looks like a good slice. I'm just gonna dig right in. I see an eyebrow. Mmm, that is good. I can't see it. All I see is an eye. Good mozzarella, good interplay with the sauce. Nice, pleasant, crisp, but really nice and light at the same time. I know, but I can't see her. Oh. What's up, girl? How are you coming? That is delicious. This is what you want in a slice. The fresh mozzarella pizza at the restaurant is similar to a traditional margarita slice, but the basil is substituted for a basil-like sauce. I loved everything about it. All the ingredients were top-notch and were well-balanced on a texturally satisfying crispy pie. That was really good. Now we're gonna go a little thicker, a little more body with the Sicilian slice. Now I've certainly had bigger Sicilian slices. This looks pretty good. Um, yeah, we'll see how it is. Mm. That is such a satisfying crisp, but a nice fluffy interior. Once again, good cheese and sauce. I like this. You know, the slice looks okay, but it tastes a lot better than it looks. The sauce has like a bit of tartness to it, a little acidity. Um, it's nice, the cheese is solid, but I mean, it's the crisp, the actual crust, the dough that goes into this pizza, it's airy, it's flavorful. That, I think, is my favorite part. The aeration in the Sicilian was simply wonderful and is the aspect that sets the slice apart from the competition. Mm, that's a solid Sicilian. Next up, I believe this is like a, a grandma slice. I mean, it's thinner than the Sicilian, but it's still a bit thick and it looks really good. Mm, that was really good. Yeah, you know, I think I actually like this a bit more than the Sicilian. It has the same satisfying crisp, but the flavors are a bit better. Yeah, I think so far this is my favorite slice. The grandma slice felt like the best of both worlds, combining everything I enjoyed from the Sicilian pizza, like the crunch and aeration, with the flavors from the fresh mozzarella slice. Oh, that's so good. This is the pepperoni slice. Look at this bottom. I mean, it is a perfect color, and it is beautiful. Once again, that nice crisp. Pepperoni flavor, solid. Yeah, it's a good slice. Plain and simple, this is just good pizza. Very satisfying, it's the way I like it. Crispy, good ingredients, good flavors. Luigi's, this is a great place. 
I'm having one hell of a pleasant lunch. That is so good. It's hard not to be seduced by everything that makes Luigi so unique. Factors like the establishment's history, the classic and preserved interior, its affordable prices, and the figure of Giovanni who's taken over the restaurant's legacy from his father. But most importantly, they serve great pizza. In conclusion, it's places like Luigi's that really makes a neighborhood special. And I'm so happy that I finally got to see what Luigi's was all about. That was a very satisfying lunch. Luigi's was certainly worth the journey. I'm also really happy that I got four slices instead of my typical three slices, which I usually get when I'm ordering just slices from a pizza shop. The slices do run a bit on the smaller side. I mean, the round slices are very thin, very light, and the Sicilian, it's a bit smaller than uh, some of the others that I've had. But in summation, I couldn't be more satisfied with my lunch. Now, uh, I gotta walk this off. I am feeling good. I'm not quite full, but I'm satisfied. I mean, I could probably eat maybe six, seven of those slices. It was so good. Now, I clearly don't think Luigi's is quite on the same level, say, John's at Bleecker Street or Lucali, the Farah, but it is still a very good pizza place. It's an icon of South Slope, a neighborhood institution, and still a must try for any pizza fan. I also just really love the history behind Luigi's, the beautiful, old school, unchanged interior. There is definitely a sense of romanticism behind old school, classic pizza places like that. I'm so happy that I can check off another iconic New York City pizza institution off my list. Luigi's was awesome.